Hey, internet friends, I wanted to jump on here real quick and cover this developing story that's striking me as very off, and I wanted to get your opinion on it. My toddler is playing in the background, so if you hear ruckus, it's part of the listening experience today. But something strange is happening to our power grid, and we're discussing that today. So you remember this past week in North Carolina? Around 45,000 homes and businesses in Moore County lost power last Saturday night that wasn't restored until Wednesday. And this was a result of what Moore County Sheriff Ronnie Fields described as a targeted attack involving an individual or group firing upon two electrical substations. But no one was harmed, no one was hurt, no one was attacked, but they did do millions of dollars in damage. And there was a really weird narrative around the alleged attack, even though police have yet to identify a suspect or even a motive. But when it was initially reported, all news agencies fell into lockstep with their reporting, saying the attack occurred at the same time as Sunrise Theater in Moore County was hosting a drag show performance. So it was suggested that the attacks on the power grid were to bring down the drag show. There was an article published a few days before the drag show happened. It was published in the Fayetteville Observer that reported, quote, Organizers of the drag show had received violent death threats from far-right activists, prompting them to increase security by hiring private guards and enlisting the Southern Pines Police Department. It seemed too coincidental to ignore said District 4 Commissioner Mary Beth Murphy when asked if she thinks the substation attacks are connected to protests, which were organized by former Army Psychological Operations Officer Emily Grace Rainey, a January 6th insurgent and anti-vaccination activist, I mean, when I read this, wow, she's a fed, who resigned from her commission after what CBS News called a career-ending reprimand for 2020 protests. And on last Monday's episode of Steve Bannon's War Room podcast, Rainey called supporters and patrons of the Downtown Divas fundraiser, The Drag Show, demonic and blasphemers, end quote. But let's move over to Tampa, where local news stations just ran this story. Quote, just days after what officials are calling a targeted attack at two Duke Energy substations in North Carolina, News Nation has obtained federal documents showing evidence of at least six other intrusions at Duke Energy substations in Florida. End quote. So this whole story happened back in September. In September, Duke Energy Florida experienced at least half a dozen substation intrusion events, according to an incident report obtained by News Nation. End quote. And the report said it was likely someone who worked at the substation and had insider knowledge of the infrastructure. But okay, now let's move over to Oregon and Washington. It's happening there too. In this report published on the 7th of December, saying that both states recently had, quote, physical attacks on substations using hand tools, arson, firearms, and metal chains, possibly in response to an online call for attacks on critical infrastructure. End quote. The memo goes on to say that the aim is to cause widespread power failures with the potential impact of social disruption and violent anti-government criminal activity, end quote. It's very interesting to me that they've specifically mentioned some buzzwords like anti-government criminal activity, far-right, anti-vax, and who they speculate is responsible for these attacks to the power grid, even though it's looking like in all these reports they haven't identified or nailed down a suspect. So how could they possibly know that? So I just wanted to point out this trend and point out that they're shaping the narrative around power grid attacks and failures. It's the conspiracy theorists, the far right, the anti-government minded, the anti-LGBTQ XYZ, the anti-vaxxers. That's who's responsible for them. It's very, very interesting and it's quite brazen. So is something strange going on at these substations? What do you think? You know, I always look forward to your comments. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Bye.